Hello Scorpio Sagittarius, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the likes, views, subscribes. This is going to be from June 8th to June 14th, but time is fluid, so when you come across this is probably when you're meant to see it. So, I read the cards, the oracle cards go here, the tarot cards go here. These are all for you, these are the people around you, but you could show up over here as well. So, I read the cards, you decide how they apply to you or your situation. So I'm going to pull a fortune out of the fortune cookie for you first. Oh my goodness. So, here we go. Alright, I got it. I got it. So here's the fortune for you. Your fortune is... The wise man is the one that makes you think he is dumb. The wise man is the one that makes you think he's dumb. That's your fortune. So I don't know if you know somebody around you like that or you related to somebody like that. So let's start with the Whispers of the Ocean. 22, take note. Your answers are being given to you, quieting external noises and excessive... external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. So this makes me think that somebody is coming into your life that you're going to connect with that wants to offer you something. I feel like when you're with this person you two kind of have a lot of creative ideas and you think about your future and you have a lot of similarities. So the next one for you is 44 Explain Wonder. So you had 44 and 22. That's very odd, the double number. So Unexplained Wonder is the um, Unicorn fish. I don't know why I drew a blank on that. And this is the wine monk seal if I didn't say that. So, Unexplained Wonder says, Magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your prayers are answered now. And this is, your answers are being given to you. Answers. So you're getting answers. Both these talk about giving answers. So something is being offered to you. So pay attention to that. Some of you are going to notice it. Some of you are not. And I do feel like it's going to be when you're with somebody like you or somebody you click with who feel you just get along energy-wise really well. All right, so the first one that comes up, Scorpio Sagittarius, is the Hero Font. So the Hero Font talks about really strong spirituality, really strong intuition, instinct coming from somebody. This could be telepathy where two people can connect with each other. Ace of Wands. Ace, excuse me. Ace of Wands is physical attraction. So uh, very beautiful, handsome to somebody. And you see the similarities here where there's the light with the wand and then he's looking. So death. So death talks about something ending so something new can come into your life. So something has ended and then temperance. So temperance talks about something wasn't right the first time it was in your life. So it could be a relationship, could be a job, could be a number of things. But something ended and now it seems like the time is right for it or the time wasn't right then and that's why it had to end. So you have Princess of Cups. So Princess of Cups is somebody younger than you coming in to offer an apology, offer love I feel like they want to get to know you more. And then you have Seven of Coins. So Seven of Coins is planning, organizing. To me, this is like taking inventory on your life, your accomplishments, re-looking at your goals, seeing where you need to set boundaries, the Hermit. So the Hermit talks about clarity, talks about going by yourself. The Hermit is withdrawing Virgo placement and getting answers to questions that confuse you. So... It's clarifying the death ending. So I feel like you're getting clarity on something, on why it needed to end. And then Four of Cups. So Four of Cups talks about somebody looking to the past and really missing something that didn't work out. Somebody is really having a hard time with what didn't work out. So the Fool is my precursor to taking a leap of faith of love usually coming in. And then Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is usually very vicious, somebody who's been hurt many times and so their guard is up. 
Um, they're not very open, very nurturing, very loving. She's just very communicative, as brutal and honest. And then Six of Swords. So Six of Swords talks about once somebody gets clarity, they end something and move away from a situation. So I do feel like there was a situation concerning clarity around somebody coming at you, I feel, like attracted to you, and something was off for you is what I'm picking up. And then you have the star. So the star could be Aquarius placement here, but this is saying that somebody sees you as shining, your light being full, um, you have enough love to offer other people. They see you as very loving and nurturing. So I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. Right, so the first one, this is heaven. This is weird. I've been getting this feeling through this whole reading when the death card came out. So this is my heaven card. This is somebody in heaven acknowledging that they're with you. When you think you're alone or when you're down and you're trying to come up to solutions or you think you're alone and you're very sad, this person is with you. So Six of Earth. So Six of Earth talks about somebody being generous and helping somebody. I feel like for some of you there could be ulterior motives in the situation, so let me put it to you this way, what I'm seeing. If there's somebody being generous to you, and you have little kids, and say like um, dinner's ready, and this person who's hosting you, staying with them, is paying more attention to you than your children, and your children are sitting there watching this happening, kind of pay attention to that. I feel like some of you may be getting yourself in a situation where you're needing help and you asked a friend for help, but that friend is overstepping their boundaries in some way, I feel. And so be aware of what your children see that you are maybe stressed out and you don't want to see, but I just feel like this person is trying to manipulate you and take advantage of you is what I'm feeling. So then we have strength. So this is good. So Leo placement, oh, which is strength, over the Six of Swords. So something you moved away from, you're sticking to your guard, and you're still following through with that. And then Two of Fire. So Two of Fire talks about you are very strong in why you make your decisions. You don't make baseless decisions. You really look things out and figure them out before you make a decision. You don't take anything carefree. So then you have Three of Earth. So Three of Earth talks about people watching you, people wanting to copy you. So say you have a business, I feel like there's people around you wanting to do the same business. Like there's people that say, oh, I can do that same business. I can do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to watch this person and go do what they're doing. So then you have strength and balance over this generous person that I feel for some of you may be manipulating you. It won't be for everybody. But just pay attention. If you notice they're paying more attention to you than the children, um, just kind of notice it. I mean, it's just nothing bad. It's just you can nip it in the bud, so to speak. You can cut it before it gets out of control. Just tell the person, you know, thank you for your help, but you're kind of looking at me a little like, um, what's the word, when people have that funny feeling towards people. Um, shoot, I can't think of it. Um, infatuated. Somebody seems infatuated with you that's helping you. So then you have Six of Sky. So Six of Sky talks about somebody removing themselves from drama. There's a lot of drama, a lot of other people causing conflict, just bickering, and somebody's removing themselves from that energy. And then Eight of Sky. So Eight of Sky says somebody feels stuck. They're looking at their present situation, looking at the past, and they feel stuck. So I don't know if it's from family or friends, um, but it's kind of their own thinking is what the book says. That the cat can easily get out from under the tree branches, but for some reason it starts thrashing and then it sees the bats here in the dark sky and it makes it worse. So this could be somebody just making situation worse with their thinking. So then you have Earth Kitten. So Earth Kitten is the universe sending something in to help you. Something to give you a heads up about something. So then Four of Sky. So Four of Sky talks about resting. That when you sleep, you're healing yourself. And you're getting ready to go a new direction. Many new beginnings after you heal. 
So five of sky. Five of sky is conflict again. People coming at somebody and making somebody be defensive to themselves. But there's like three people ganging up on one person. So like almost like a bully situation going on there. And then toxic energy, demon cat, Capricorn energy. So I do feel like there's some kind of bullying situation going on here. I really do. Somebody's out of hand. So I see a charmer energy where they're going to try and manipulate you. I feel like they have um, some desire to like trick you and cause chaos in your life. But I feel like if you take a step back, you're going to notice it. There's love coming into some of you. Ooh, and some of you are in denial that you're a healer and that somebody may be taking from you. So I'm going to switch over to the Oracle of E. Alright, so the Oracle of V for you, Scorpio Sagittarius, is over your shoulder 10. So something's going to end that you're going to walk away from, and it's going to free you up to move in a new direction. And the next one that comes out for you is Laser Beam 39. So this talks about light raining down on something. We have the light here, we have the light here. So I feel like something is, you're going to focus on something that's going to make you happy versus walking away from something that made you sad. So Earth Wisdom shows me Divine Light 27. So this talks about you are healing your heart and your soul from somebody who hurt you really bad. This is helping you align yourself where you know your self-worth more, you know your strength, you're going toward your light. You're just going into a different cycle. Like you are going through the right door. There's so many doors you could have went through. And you're there's a lot of right ones. But you chose the most correct. If that makes sense. So freedom number six. So this talks about your higher power. Having beliefs and faith. That you are going to get through what you're going through right now. I mean the light and the light. So much there. And saying that you are healing yourself. Whoa, you're not going around in circles anymore in some sort of situation. That was my angelite crystal fell off the floor. It rolls. It's circle and it rolls all the time. All right, so now I'm going to switch to the angels and ancestors. So you have drum, dream, and journey. So this talks about a lot of spirituality in here. And I believe your first card was the hero font, right? So there's a lot of strong spirituality. This talks about drums are used in every corner of the world. And they bring peace. The people meditate to them. They pray to them. They get married to them. You know, there's just a lot of dance to them. There's just a lot of um, soul bonding with drums and calming and a lot more. I could go on and on. And the freedom is your what you believe in, your faith. And then the next one is Water Guardian. It, the connect with your emotion so water guardian to me is your emotions of course but it's also like um, your third eye chakra to me this also could relate to somebody in heaven it also could relate to a sister especially in heaven I feel like that is my sister in heaven card right there um, so I do feel like there could be a connection to where this person is somehow helping you get the unexplained wonder they're focusing on laser beam focus on bringing you abundance and they're going to bring it to you so i hope this was made sense to some people thank you so much bless you